Hey, so today I'm going to talk about a script I wrote a few years ago, and I'm just getting around to releasing it. Um, it's about ICMP exfiltration detection. It's a Zeek script. Uh, my name is Rakesh. I work at Gigamon on their threat research team, and uh, I work on the threat insight platform we have, threat and content. Uh, I like climbing. I have two of the cutest birds in the world, and I have a passion for Zeke scripting. Uh, the motivation for the script is uh, basically to learn script scripting. This was one of my first scripts I ever wrote. Trying to find badness. Uh, so I'm sure you all know what ICMP is. It's a protocol used for diagnosing network connectivity. And uh, two of the most common tools used are ping and traceroute. Uh, this is what an ICMP packet looks like. It rides on top of or rides on the IP layer. Uh, and you can see on the left, there's the headers for the IP and then the headers for the ICMP. And the part we care about, obviously, is down here, the juicy data section. Uh, the RFC for ICMP is 7792. I know RFCs are pretty boring to read, but um, they've got some good info in there on what's expected from the protocols. Uh, the two types we care about are the echo message and the reply. And then uh, this little blob here says that the echo reply must be the same uh, payload as the, as the echo message. Uh, so, to Zeek, um, there are two events that Zeek uses to capture this traffic, which is the request and the reply, and uh, that just has all the data here for these these two. So you just call these two in your script, and it, obviously you can use them. Uh, so, obviously with nice things, people can misuse them <laughs> and abuse them. Uh, so, in this case, there are Plenty of open source tools you can use just to exfil data over ICMP. Uh, these are five of them that are pretty common and pretty easy to use. And they all use the echo message and uh, the, the request and the reply uh, types. Uh, this is what normal ICMP looks like. It's just a, uh, it's got a small static payload that you send in the request and then the reply should be exactly the same. Uh, and then the subsequent because these ICMPs are run like every second or something, and the subsequent request and reply should also be the same, right? Like the same static message you see here. And the static message depends on whatever uh, implementation of the ping, like different OS, like Linux will have their own little small static payload and Windows has their own. This is what a suspicious ICMP looks like. It's just a bunch of base64 or whatever encoded data in there. Um, obviously this is odd. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I did some research and I saw that someone already wrote sort of what I wanted to write. It's at least they started it and it's a, it was a bro script. It kind of did what I wanted to do. So I used it as a framework to design my script and uh, no need to create something from scratch when something's already there. So I built on top of it and added some features and rewrote it so that it works with Zeek because uh, it was pretty old. And um, yeah, so some of the notice features that it uh, creates events for, the script that I wrote, is for obviously data exfilling. And the we, can, we got an example of that here. That first event, it'll show you that the size of the data that was exfilled from that, that ICMP session. Um, yeah, so some other events it logs is uh, when a reply is seen without a request. Um, when a request payload is not equal, to, and the reply is not equal to the request payload, which the protocol says it should. Um, and then when you have an echo and a uh, reply, but then the next subsequent echo and reply is not equal to the previous one, uh, which means that someone's iterating over a file trying to send it across. Um, so yeah, there's two events there. One's for the uh, asymmetric flow, which means that there were 2,000, in this session, 2,064 of subsequent echo replies that were not equal to the previous. Uh, I'm going to get this. Uh, so the, the link for the code is right there. I'll also put it in the Zeek Slack room. But uh, uh, I'm going to get it to be in a Zeek ZKG package soon and uh, get that so that it's easy, more easily downloadable. And then 
people can play with it and submit some improvements and whatever. Uh, yeah, questions, comments? Um, if you have any good ICMP jokes, ping me later. <laughs> Classic. Question in the back? I'm not sure. Do you want to take this one? I'll just take this one. Yeah, that one. That's all right. I don't know this. Okay. Whoever's asking a question, just do that really loudly. And who, where was it? Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's working now. Was it you, Smoot? Uh, I only know one ICMP joke, so I, probably everybody's heard it. Um, <laughs> I was just curious if two different hosts are both pinging each other at the same time, how do you, sorry, two sessions on two hosts, hmm. uh, how do you distinguish them or do they get interleaved or? Two sessions on two different hosts. No. Uh, two, say two users on host A are both oh. pinging B. OK. Um, I believe they would be combined as one session because there's ah. no because it's not using TCP or UDP, so there's no way for me to tell whether there's a session. So it's just source IP and desk IP. That's all OK. I and so that would trigger all your stuff, probably. OK, cool. Yeah. Thanks. I think this is a good moment to flag that if you guys have packages forthcoming, uh, mention them in the packages channel in Slack. Um, if you think it's good to go, then you can submit a pull request for the packages repo so that by ZKG you find that right away. And then it's right there. Any other questions? All right. I think we're good to go. Thank cool. you so much. Thank Great you. talk.